Hello, welcome to my channel and in this video we'll understand how to capture video from camera using Python. So for that we need to start with uh, PyCharm. Here I have PyCharm 2021. Let, let it open up. Awesome. So let's get uh, started creating our new project. So for new project, you you come here. We have this option new project. Yeah, and I'm going to give some name to it and uh, let's give it name as uh, So that's perfect and let's understand what is interpreter that it's, it is selecting. It is selecting my previous configuration. So I have different um, version python python installed at different locations so i want that to be taken here because all my open cv libraries are being installed in, in that particular revision so let's get started creating project awesome it has created me a uh, main.py file over here uh, okay let's keep this uh, don't show this tip okay let's keep this for for next time as well so i i don't want to use this uh, this particular function so i'm going to clear delete this uh, all together whatever is in main.py and particularly whenever you create a project this this main.py is by default getting created okay through uh, within this pycharm so here i don't want all of that uh, let's get started coding our code here so very first thing that we need to do is import our cv2 library so uh, so for that import c cv2 and let's give it a name as something else because always typing uh, some name as cv2 is quite quite difficult so let's give it a name as cv so cv is quite uh, easy for us to do to to uh, give a name so let's get let's first create uh, an instance for a camera so we have this cam let's let's name this as cam and then cv dot uh, video capture since our uh, main camera my laptop camera is going going to be used and its location is uh, zero so for that and let's uh, i need to start i need to continue using using uh, using it until i deliberately quit from the application so how can i deliberately quit from here is by uh, having the cv dot wait wait key function okay and uh, this is if cv dot wait key is equals to is equals to odd and it's queued okay so here i'm going to break this loop right perfect so with this our loop is going to get break let's see if it shows me intellisense wait key perfect so yeah and uh, very first thing that we need to do is we need to release our cam okay release and uh, destroy all windows so these things need to be uh, done very first what this is uh, says is until and unless I pre I press the skew key on my keyboard, this is this while loop is going to be continued. It is going to be an infinite loop. Okay, and as soon as I come out of this loop, I'm going to release my cam object. Okay, cam object, and then I'm going to destroy all the windows that uh, I'm going to I'm going to uh, create while within this within this loop. Now let's get started with uh, with our camera, and for that uh, uh, we will be using cam dot read read function okay so here we have this read function and read this read function is going to return us two uh, uh, two variables that is uh, flag or uh, i mean like if it is status status let, let's for example say status and frame okay status and frame and in status it shows uh, shows us 
uh, whether the frame was captured properly or not okay so what we can do is we can just uh, uh, show I am show and let's give it a name for that window so for that window I'll say capture video okay and let's let's display our frame on that okay so that is it the these two line these two line will uh, will, will will show our frame on that uh, window perfect and since i am doing it in a continuous fashion in a while loop it is going to look like it's a video control f10 it is going to run me this project yeah so here we have uh, our video ready and uh, my name of that window is capture video that's how we can display our image on continual basis which is going to look like a video right this is a video perfect so i'm going to press now q and it is going to uh, yeah come out of it and here we have some some warning over here and i know this warning this warning is because uh, the camera object is not defined properly and for that we can do is cap underscore capture underscore d show okay so here we have this command direct show so with this uh, this warning goes away now here i need to also understand whether whether my frame is ready or not so what we can do is uh, as as the frame is ready the status is going to be true okay so what we can do is if not status okay if not status uh, that is if it is not true if it is false so then it will come inside this uh, loop and let's print here something so that user will get to know what is happening uh, cannot receive frame okay with this message user will get to know that uh, something happened with the with the frame receive okay so one thing one 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 more thing that we can do is if cam dot is open okay this is another function from opencv library which shows whether the camera is is working is already in work or not right so here we can print as uh, camera does does not exist okay because what happens is if i am busy using uh, that camera in some different application and if i run this uh, function uh, or this project my camera is not going to work so user need to have some kind of uh, message so that he will get to know what is happening with with the camera right so here uh, with this it is all good to go right with few few line of code you are able to uh, display your video from camera right perfect so let's try this again control f10 okay so we need to provide from where this is, this is going to come from okay it is coming from cv dot cap d show okay right perfect so this one so uh, no no here is cap underscore d show right perfect so now let's run this awesome so uh, as we have started our video and we are good to go and let's see if we have that warning press a q and no warning here so with this flag uh, this gets to know uh, that uh, the capture video is going to get directly displayed perfect awesome you can download this code link is in the description box see you in the next video